in this time of energy and geopolitical crisis, nuclear energy is viewed as the most competitive, controllable and efficient power source that comes with great benefits in terms of low carbon emissions and energy independence. Due to these benefits, research is currently involved to far further reduce emission and uranium fuel consumptions with the development of nuclear reactors of fourth generation. Hello everybody, my name is Matilde Fiore and I am a PhD student at the Von Karman Institute for Fluid Dynamics and the University Catholic de Louvain. My PhD project is granted by the Belgian FNRS and is about the thermal turbulence modeling of liquid metal flows in nuclear fast reactors with machine learning techniques. In new generation nuclear reactors, liquid metals are used as coolants to reach better efficiencies. One example is the Mira reactor that is being designed by the Nuclear Research Center in Belgium with the aid of numerical simulations. At the current state, CFD simulations have limited the reliability due to the limits of the available turbulent heat flux models. This quantity appears on the right hand side of the energy equation. In presence of heavy liquid metals, modeling this quantity is hard since the high conductivity of liquid metals tend to break up the similarity between velocity and temperature at the basis of traditional heat flux models. Hence, for liquid metals, we need something more sophisticated. To achieve this goal, we need to build a new closure or improving the existing ones by introducing some effective correction that we can call beta. The high fidelity data that we have at our disposal uh, for several flows trigger the learning process and make the approach fully data-driven. The methodology consists of two steps. In the inference step, these reference data are used to find which model correction we need to get the desired thermal field for the flow under consideration. For example, for this backward facing step flow heated from the lower wall, the algorithm ends up with the values of the correction that we need to get closer to the reference data that you see on the left. After having inferred our correction, we build a predictive model for it as a function of the flow and thermal features. For this job, we settled on artificial neural networks that can handle easily big data and strong nonlinearities. We applied this methodology in two different frameworks, the algebraic one that is mathematically easier and the differential one that is able to account for transport effects. Once trained, the neural network-based predictive models are implemented in OpenFOAM and are validated for uh, liquid metal flows of increasing complexity. For the moment, the validation is limited to simple flows. For example, this flow through fuel roads uh, arranged in bundle. But the great accuracy of the model predictions and the good comparison with other thermal models show the potential of the approach and this chance to be applied for the design and testing of nuclear reactors in the near future. Thank you for your kind attention.